Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Making the Van de Graaff Generator Thingamajigger. Today we're making the base of it with the bottom. And a special thing, I got it. That stays safe. So I am donning my special protective apron. It's just a butcher's apron. Because I don't want to get dirty. And glasses. Alrighty, so here we have the plywood, our half inch threaded rod, and all the random nuts and bolts and thingamajiggers we got from this hardware store. As far as what tools we're going to need, we got this big old massive square. Kind of reminds me of like Grim Reaper's side, like they used to harvest wheat and stuff. Also have pen, sharpie, pencil tape measure, a drill with a half inch bit, and a hole saw. I think this one's two inch. It's just the biggest one I have. You want as close to the pipe size as you can get. Also have a little hacksaw for cutting down these half inch rods, and a circular saw for cutting this in half and an extension cord to get it going. Last but not least, we got this little funny doohickey that that's kind of, not many people know what it is, it's a thread file. Use it for getting down in the threads of rods like these and cleaning them out after you cut them. If you don't use it, your threads are going to be all clogged up with files, shavings, and whatnot from your cut, and they're just going to tear apart your threads. It's, it's not very good. So that is all of the materials. We will get on to making it now. All right. So we want two pieces of this plywood to be our base. One's going to need to be about a square foot and the other is going to have to be the foot wide and however long we can make it doesn't really matter. So what we have here is we have this square set up to the edge so that it is perpendicular to the edge of this plywood and marked out to one foot wide. We're just going to mark that line down the back. Then. Turn this thing around, do the same thing on this side, line it up to a foot, and mark. And now, in this piece, we have our one square foot, and in this piece, we have our one foot by however many. These two, though, are going to have to be scrapped, unfortunately. So, we then proceed to cut our board down, going along the lines that we just marked which I would be happy to show you if Justin hadn't got such a nice shot of my butt. Yeah. So we also traded out the uh, circular saw blade for a grit blade to cut the metal rods that we had in half. Uh, so they should end up being about a foot long now. Now we've got to find the very center of this one square foot piece. Luckily, if I remember correctly from geometry class, all we gotta do is connect the points that are across from each other like this. So you just line up the square or whatever straight edge you're using on one point with the other point diagonal to it, and you make a line. Then you do the other way, and you go like this, and you do this, and you go whoop, and you got a line, and would you look at that right in the middle. Now that we found that we got to put a couple poles around here in the corners. We want them to be about the same distance away from each other but since we have this nice convenient line that we drew here that just happens to go perfectly bisecting these angles or at least as close as we can possibly get, we can just line up on the lines and then measure out an inch. Uh, I'm gonna go inch and a half and then just go around all four and measure out one and a half inches matter check off what factor nine never say that in front of me again <laughs> why not i'm not a fan of star wars star I'm wars i'm joking i'm not an idiot that is heresy right there. Yeah, I know. I figured it'd be good on the blooper reel. <laughs> Yeah! 
Ew. Hey there. That scared me. This thing's so dull. I don't think it even has teeth left. Alrighty, so now that we've finished drilling this hole in the middle, that it don't much bang, it took like it took like felt like five hours. Probably more like 20 minutes. It's still way too long. We had dull hole saws. But now we gotta drill these four corners. And we need them to line up with this base here. Now we could do a lot of fancy math and all weird geometry tricks, or do this little trick. You just put the one you marked on top of the one you need to be the same as, and make sure you push down real hard to make sure they don't come out of line and just drill through both of them. Be very careful not to have either of them slide in the process. If you can't hold the thing steady, you may want to go with the fancy lines and everything. Dang! You were a little crooked there. Part of it didn't cut. Now the drill is stuck. Stupid moment number... Which one? 3,248. Hey, we haven't even had 3,248 moments on here. Well, that's debatable. Your geniosity ceases to amaze me. And genius. It's a lovely tree right here. The sky is blue. And back to this. I did it again! <laughs> you may call me Juicy J. Herpeder. J Saucy. Any of my other nicknames. I call you Herpeter. That's not very nice. Alrighty, guys. So, unfortunately, the last clip of video we did got corrupted. So, we gotta go back to pictures for a short little bit of this. But all we really did uh, to finish the b base, the b b b b base, the b b b b base. All we did to finish the base of this thing is just put to take our rods, threaded rods, put a nut on the bottom, another washer, and you put that through the bottom of your bottom plate. And then you take another nut and washer and you clamp that onto the top so you have the um, threaded rod clamped onto the base plate. Then you leave a nice section about nine inches would probably be good. I'm not entirely sure what we have here, just kind of whatever you can get that looks good. And another wa another nut and washer to mark that space off. And then you put your top plate on top. And then finally, cap it all off with another nut and washer. It's it's not all that hard. I mean, you're, you're really just making a plywood sandwich. It's pretty simple, actually kind of surprises me it took us like five hours to build this thing. Wee Fun! <laughs> oh well. So, that's about it, guys. I'll see you later. And from Justin. Peace out.